Hey guys, welcome back to Tactical Expedition. Today, I want to show you Tesla noise reduction kit. It's my iPhone that detects the noise level, decibel. So when the car is not moving, it's about 37. I set it at 2, so I'm going to keep it all same. Onto the door frames, doors, hood, trunk, and the panoramic roof. So I'm going to drive my neighborhood to see what's the decibel and after I install, I'm going to do the same test. It's not a scientific test because I'm just using a Apple Watch and just driving, but I'll drive the same route, try to compare. When you do the noise reduction kit, the seal goes on the outside. So there's an inner seal where they're stripping. See right here, look, it got dirty. So once the seal goes here, I think it also blocks the dirt coming in. Cruise control is set to 40, speed limit. Sixty to sixty-four decibels. All right, getting into the freeway. I'll go seventy miles per hour. So I set it to seventy. Sixty three to sixty five, and you can hear some uh, wind noise coming from the panoramic roof area. So, overall, I, I think uh, Tesla Y is not a loud car. Toyota 4Runner re was really loud, um, and I filmed maybe twice on my previous video regarding the cabin noise. Um, Tesla comes with a double pane glass on the front and the rear, but uh, my Taycan was an option. So I didn't get the option. So my Taycan is just a single pane glass. <laughs> uh, this is like the, their famous road. Look, it's, it's really nice. It kind of reminds me of Canada when I was driving to Banff. And let's see if there's any improvement. Uh, even if it doesn't improve, I always like weather stripping, and I know weather stripping is expensive. Um, even if you're just buying it at Home Home Depot or so, and this is just built and cut perfectly for Tesla Y. So um, I don't mind uh, blocking out noise and uh, dirt and water. You know, so um, I'm gonna do the install and put it on all over the doors, hood, front, and the panoramic roof. Okay, so first part of the noise reduction kit for Tesla Model Y is the panoramic wind noise reduction kit. This goes on top of the, the panoramic roof right here in these gaps. See, it's, this gap is pretty big, so the wind can travel through there and create some noise. The first thing, preparation, Wise, um, you have to clean these grooves out. You know, you're just clean, put the thing in there and then just clean the grooves. See here too, there's a groove. I think that's where the, all the wind noise generates. So this is the windshield and this is the panoramic roof. I mean, it's not a big gap, but there's a gap, see, between. So then I'm sure wind will flow through and then it creates like this, like wind noise. So just get the painter's tape so you can remove it easy. Don't use the duct tape. And let's, you know, if you do the QR code, it'll give you instruction from this company. So just lay it flat. It looks like this. And let's work on this corner. Let's put it through like this. And we're gonna stretch it, put it down, stretch it, kind of put it in this gap. It's like semi-firm, but it is soft to manipulate so you can put it in that in those grooves see this groove is tighter than the side grooves so choose the first point kind of lock it down so it doesn't pop out and from here you pull and press it down pull and press down and it goes into these grooves so i'm pulling and putting it in pulling and putting it in so once it goes in here it expands but once you stretch it out it becomes thin so it goes in so once it goes, went in some parts, just kind of lock it down with a painter's tape so it doesn't get loose again. And the rear, there is a bigger gap 
that it will just go in. So you just have to worry about the three sides and the fourth side will just work. It will just pop in like this. And that's it. See, completed. It went in clean and I'll make sure it goes up on the windshield. But see, it all went smooth. Look at this right here, see smooth. So there's less gap because it has the rubber in the middle. And make sure all the rubber is seated into the grooves. So when you open the trunk, you can see it, see, right here. So just make sure the rubber weather strip is on top of the actual original weather stripping. Well, it fits perfectly. The dimension is perfect too. This is not really, really tight. You know, I don't know why some people say it went into the glue area because this is fairly loose actually. Okay, so it comes with all that. A pillar, B pillar, front trunk, the trunk, front door, front door, and back door, back door. So first part, that's the for the front door. So let's not block these uh, drain plugs. There's two of them. And the thin, thin piece goes up here like this, all the way up to this edge. So it's nice because you can still block this area from, from dirt coming in. Okay, check this out from here all the way. I try to mount as straight as possible. And here, there's a drying plug. So just underneath that and it's very straight. It's perfect distance all the way to the end. But when you look down, this thing comes out. The lip comes down, so it kind of flushes with the door. But when you when this gets pressed down by the door, see this seal comes out like this. So for the rear door, if you look at the edge, one is closed, one is cut. So the closed one, we work with that on top. The 3M tape goes the most outward. So it will get attached this way, like this, to the edge. If it's a wrong side, see? The flap goes outside and you don't want that, that's, a, that's wrong. So this is the other side. So make sure you use the right side. Okay, so rear door. It went smooth like this. So the curves, you just have to work with it. It keeps going down. But over here, unlike the three, you know, Y has a sharp edge. So I cut it and I continued on, on the bottom. So it works perfectly, it fits perfectly. And then uh, opens nice too. Okay, I finished the front doors and the rear doors. And now we're doing the B pillar. B pillar is when you open the front door, this is that metal piece that is attached to the rear door. This one goes all the way here. So this B pillar weather strip, again, one side is closed, one side is open. Use the closed size on top, just like that. And you bring it down. And uh, if it's long, just trim it. Okay, looks awesome. And at the end, I cut it like same angle as the metal. Looks super nice. Perfect. So black is guarding all the way. So this seal matches with this thin piece. So that is perfect. So that's what it is. So now we're gonna do the A pillar seal, noise reduction kit. So you're putting it right there. So basically what it means is this kit is gonna look like this and it's gonna block the wind noise from air from coming in here. So A pillar uh, work from inside and when you put, put it on the very top, make sure that grooves pops out like that. You can see it, so just follow the groove. Okay, so finished installing all the way to the end and I had to trim some trunk. Uh, I got a one piece, but I had to cut it in three. So first, you start from there at the very edge. 
and you move up there and there and start here go around and then there and then the third piece go around and end there at the end and you have maybe this much left over okay so let's see if it works perfect close perfect front has been completed so you start with one side one piece all the way through that's it it closes nice there you go so you can see the seal here look right there there's a seal beautiful car and now there's a seal all around so i completed all the seals front trunk front doors rear doors a pillar and b pillar that was pretty easy but time consuming you know because i wanted to make it perfect because it's just one time applying you know 35 decibels okay so i'm gonna drive it just like before So I set the auto drive to 40. It's showing 58 to 60. It's showing about uh, 58 to 62. Um, you know, my experience right now feels like there's a lot less wind noise coming from above so which is a panoramic roof and all these little areas it seems like it's more muffled when i'm driving but just like my uh 7 series before uh, when i close the door it feels like my ear is more like muted i don't know um because of the vacuum seal so it feels more of that nature than before It's showing 58 to 62. It's definitely quieter, I have to say. Yeah, the above panoramic roof air noise diminished big time. Oh, uh, very good. I'm just happy that uh, some of the noise went away. Um, even though the Tesla Y was great, you know, I, I had no complaints. But uh, just for my wife, I wanted to get a little bit more quiet, like tesla x or s because they have all these seals double pane glass you know uh, noise reduction efforts into that car unlike three or y so um, i want to do more to reduce those uh, problems uh, even though those are very very uh, minuscule 38 when we're standing still and when we're driving it increases the noise very quiet in the cabin hey it's on the freeway um, let me go up to 70. About 50 miles per hour, 65. And the 70 miles per hour, 68, 67. Anyways, uh, thank you for viewing my video. And see you on the next one.